Don't make these mistakes when casting using the float and fly method on the back cast. It was so fun going out with Ryan Williams, who owns North Valley Fly Fishing on Lake Oroville. And he was talking about the people that he guides, which is a, he's a great resource for this, and uh, had a lot of information. And he was showing me some of the mistakes that people make um, when casting and how to correct for those. Or one of the most common mistakes is not giving the line enough time to fold all the way over on the back cast. Uh, People, the line will be folding over and people will start casting now and that, that whips it, it doesn't load the rod up. It's all about loading loading the rod up. So uh, you really, it's just really slow. It's back cast one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Uh, you kinda, kinda count it, count it like so if you, if you need. But you're just giving it plenty, plenty of time to fold all, all the way over on the forward cast and the back cast. And you notice I'm, I'm watching right now. I'm standing so I can, I can watch my back cast and my forward cast, making sure it goes all the way over. Um, so yeah, watch what, what happens if you don't give it enough time to, to go. That's what happens when you, you don't give it enough time. You slow it down, let it fold all the way over. It goes nice and smooth. You not only want to wait for the bobber to fold all the way over, you want that fly to fold over behind the bobber too. So yeah, that's that's all standard kind of uh, you know river nymphing stuff versus dry fly dry fly stuff. This is pretty much the same rig as like a, a nymphing rig that you would use on the river. In fact, this is lighter weight here, way lighter weight than what we would be using on like the Sac River on trips out there. Um, but yeah, so that's just the standard uh, difference between a nymph rig and a dry fly rig. Uh, dry fly rigs, you really you're doing that classic cast, that 10-2 or even even streamer uh, streamer fish. You're doing the the 10 two and stuff. Um, you're really not put, having to put too much power into dry fly. The dry fly cast is all uh, with the nymph rigs and the the bobbers, the weights and stuff. You just need to put more power into the cast, make it a little snappier, open up the cast a little bit, kind of forget about the 10-2 that you, you learned starting out, and open that cast up more. Um, and yeah, a lot more power. Give it a good double haul uh, if, you, if you can do that. For the most part, this, is, this rig cast with the smaller leaders like we're doing here, this cast pretty similar to a streamer or a dry fly. I'm gonna try something a little bit unique, a little bit different, fly fishing for bass on some of the Northern California reservoirs. Uh, the float and fly method was developed by Ryan Williams, or at least his take and unique take on it. And uh, he's a great resource, uh, knows what he's doing and can teach you a lot uh, by getting out there on those lakes. So check it out. He guides on Lake Oroville and some of the larger lakes in Northern California, um, primarily does bass. In the fall, he also does the Feather River. So if you want to get in touch with Ryan, let us know and we'll put you in contact and we'll see you here next time on The Backcast.